One crisp morning, Nate, alongside his steadfast brothers, Desi and Jemmy, bid a heartfelt farewell to their parents and left behind the familiar sanctuary of the mountain cave that had cradled their lives. Their journey unfolded before them, and into the vast and uncharted territories of the world. After an arduous trek through the rugged terrain, the trio emerged into a vast field encircled by the towering sentinels of the earth, the majestic mountains. In the heart of this sprawling expanse, their eyes fell upon a sight that transcended the boundaries of their imagination, an immense spaceship, its form reminiscent of a celestial egg, rested in the very center of the field, like a relic of otherworldly origins. Nate, ever fueled by his characteristic curiosity and boundless determination, circled the enigmatic hull of the ship. Yet, despite his best efforts, he found no visible doors or entryways. This intriguing puzzle only served to strengthen Nate's resolve. With audacious defiance, he delivered a mighty kick, shattering the side of the ship. With courage in their hearts, the brothers ventured inside, entering the chamber of the colossal vessel. In the heart of the immense chamber, they bore witness to a sight that would indelibly alter the course of their lives, a spacious room containing a bed upon which lay a celestial being. This figure, slender and adorned with a flowing white beard, was robed in a long, luminous white garment, radiating an aura of ethereal serenity. The celestial being, introducing himself as Demos, held a title of great honor among the celestials, serving as the right hand to Seraphim. His presence was an enigma, for he had once resided aboard the Grand Ark of the Celestials. Yet, a seemingly irreparable division of opinions had torn their celestial community asunder, leading to tensions that culminated in Demo's expulsion from the Arkansas. It was then that he descended to Earth, choosing a life among humanity, far removed from the celestial realms of his origin. Demos, with a solemn countenance, baptized Nate, signifying the commencement of a profound revelation. It was within the depths of this conversation that the secrets shrouded in the shadows were unveiled, the truth that Nate was the offspring of both a celestial and a human, a rare and extraordinary fusion of worlds. The celestials possessed knowledge of harnessing the power of fire, an energy that had the potential to greatly accelerate human development. This knowledge carried both hope and trepidation, for it was a force that could shape the destiny of Earth. Demo's desire was to transfer this energy to humanity, a proposal that was met with strong opposition from the Celestians. They believed that humans were not yet ready to control this potent force, and its unpredictability could unleash cataclysms upon the Earth. This disagreement became the foundation of his expulsion. As Demos spoke, he imparted a somber truth to Nate. The Earth's environment was gradually sapping his vitality, a malaise that had taken root and was slowly but inexorably weakening him. His time on Earth was limited, and soon he would depart from this place. With grace and solemnity, Demos bequeathed to Nate the Book of Knowledge, an artifact that held within its pages the celestial wisdom and the grand heritage of the Celestials. With this act, Nate's life took a profound turn, forever entwined with the destiny of Earth and the cosmic tapestry that unfolded before him. The pages of history were in the making, and Nate held the key to unlock the knowledge that could reshape the course of humanity and the legacy of the Celestials. This pivotal moment marked the beginning of a profound journey, where the fusion of worlds, the secrets of the cosmos, and the power of destiny would guide their path into the annals of legendary tales yet to be inscribed.